All right. Well, I think we are just about ready to go ahead and get started. I um, wanted to first introduce myself. My name is Jennifer Schaefer. I'm an assistant vice chancellor for HR at Washington University. And I work with uh, Angela Osborne and Kim Alavastro, who, um, who were instrumental in helping to get this program set up and ready to go. So thank you so much, Angela and Kim. And I just wanted to say thank you all so much for your interest. This program has taken a little while to get put together. And we just couldn't be more excited about being able to offer it and also uh, about the interest that you all have in the program and how much interest it has generated. So again, thank you for your participation and interest. Uh, we are just super, super excited to have you. And then I also just wanted to say a quick thank you to our partners at Goldfarb and University College. Uh, without them, this wouldn't be possible. And uh, they really worked hand in hand with us and spent a ton of time to get this ready and up and running and um, also to arrange it so that it would uh, best suit our um, students, you know, you all, our employees and, and also prospective students. So thanks again. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it over to Kim Alavastro, who's going to uh, talk to you a little bit more about the benefit. And uh, you'll hear from several folks today about the benefit in the program. Thank you again. Thanks, Jennifer. Good evening, everybody. I'm very, very happy and excited to be here to um, help present this wonderful benefit to everyone. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know, um, we're gonna save our questions until the end of the session, and then we'll go through the, the questions with answers. You can enter your questions on the Q&A tab at the bottom of your screen, and we'll, we'll definitely go through all of those at the end. Um, I think one other thing, Pat, can you go back to the um, agenda, please? So um, I'll do an overview of the Washington University benefits, and then we'll have Elizabeth Folk from University College talk about the pre-nursing program. From there, we'll um, have Goldfarb present their um, Bachelor of Science in Nursing program, and then we'll take questions at the end. Thank you. All right, so let's dive right into the WashU tuition benefit. So um, we've chosen this, this group to start out our nursing, um, nursing program with Goldfarb for their BSN. Currently we are accepting or we're allowed to accept up to 10 employees in the Goldfarb program at one time. And all of the classes that we offer will be offered in a part-time evening and weekend format. Next slide. Um, so your prerequisite courses before you actually get into the Goldfarb program, um, Goldfarb will help you determine what prereqs you will need, and you can either take those at University College using our employee tuition benefit, or they will accept credits from other schools. Um, we, it, you know, if you do have to pay out of pocket, I would strongly encourage you to think about using University College. Um, it's open to anyone who is um, eligible for the employee tuition benefit, which I'll get into in a moment. And there's no limit limit to the number of employees who may actually utilize University College's services for their prereqs. Um, a little bit different than our normal employee tuition is that we're allowing you to take up to three classes per semester rather than two, which is the norm. And um, this just allows you to get your prereqs done quicker if you would like to do that. Next slide. So for your um, for any enrollment at University College, you're going to do that just like the regular tuition benefit. Um, you're going to enroll through University College's website. We're going to pay the full cost of your tuition. So it's 100% tuition assistance because these are undergraduate level courses. What we do not cover at this point would be the lab fees and books. So you would be responsible for finding a, a way to cover those. And that's where your um, university college advisors, academic advisors can, can help you with that. For the nursing courses at Goldfarb, um, the benefit will cover all of your tuition costs, including books lab and computer fees. There will be a few fees that are your responsibility, but the majority of the cost will be borne by the university. Next slide. 
So benefits eligibility um, for the BSN program at Goldfarb, um, we're asking you to be a full-time benefits eligible employee who's actively at work. You do need to be a certified medical assistant and have one of the titles listed here, which would be medical assistant, patient billing services representative, a medical scribe, or a medical secretary. We ask that you have one year of um, continuous full-time service in your eligible position and have at least received your medical certification or medical assistant certification at least one year before you start the classes. And then we also ask you to, that you're in good standing with WashU in terms of your overall performance and work record. Next slide. So how our applications are approved. So for, um, for the prereq classes, as I started to say earlier, you're gonna register through University College's website. You're gonna choose your classes. When you go to check out, you'll choose the WashU tuition benefit as your method of payment. And then once you've registered fully, you'll see that the tuition benefit is automatically applied. For the nursing courses, there are a couple of steps. You'll complete the nursing tuition application form, which is available on our HR website on the nursing tuition page. And at the same time, you want to um, apply with Goldfarb. And so you're doing this both at the same time. We're gonna accept your application um, once it's been approved by your manager. And then we review those while Goldfarb is reviewing you for admittance. And then once you are fully admitted to Goldfarb, then you're selected into the program. Next slide. Okay, so approval of the applications. Nope, did I already go through that? Do we have another slide? I think that's the last slide. That, that is the last slide. Okay, well, so um, that's basically it in a nutshell. So at this point, I will turn it over to Elizabeth at University College, and then I'll be happy to answer any um, tuition benefit questions you have at the end of the presentation. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. Um, I'm happy to be here and um, to see so much interest in this program. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, University College um, and what we do. Um, essentially, we are um, one of the schools and colleges at WashU, and we are um, continuing education. So. We do evening, weekend, online courses um, designed for working adults. Um, the pre-nursing program that we have um, is basically a non-degree program. So we know that there are a variety of people at different stages um, in their preparation. And so um, whether you need to take just a few courses to meet the requirements for Goldfarb um, or whether you're starting from scratch, we're happy to work with you. Um, and so the non-degree nurse pre-nursing program basically is a very brief application on our website. And it's a way for us to track the interest in pre-nursing and um, to communicate with everybody who's kind of on this pathway and give you information about, you know, new courses that are being offered and, you know, things that, that we'd like you to know um, in, a, in a timely manner. Um, so, one thing that we're hearing, um, we've spoken with uh, lots of you already. Um, we know that many of you are really eager to get going um, as quickly as you can and um, to take as much as you can <laughs> um, right away. And we know that your timeline is important. Um, we want to help you meet your goals and you know get to the next step, um, you know as soon as you can. But we also want to encourage you that if this is your first experience with taking college courses, um, or if this will be your first time balancing work and school together, um, we would recommend that you start out slowly and um, you know try one course and you know make sure that you get the balance of everything working together um, because we want you to do well in your courses as well as move forward quickly. Um, and so the courses that we have are the not the nursing itself, but the prerequisites, the you know math, the biology, um, nutrition, all of those things that are going to get you ready for a BSN completion. Um, 
We have a team of advisors. There are four of us, um, and we would like to get to know you. We'd like to work with you. Um, when you apply to the pre-nursing program at University College, one of the benefits is you will be matched with an advisor, um, and that's somebody to you know, help you map out your courses, figure out what you're going to take when. Um, you know, we know what the course schedule is like and when things will be coming up that you're looking for. Um, but also, we're there to help you at any point if you, you know, have a question and you're not sure where to go or how to get something answered or what resources there are on campus for you. Um, or if you have difficulty at any point in a course, um, please, you know, reach out to your advisor. We really do want to be there. Um, for you. Um, let's talk now about next steps. So if you haven't already, the very first thing, as um, Kim mentioned, is to get a course evaluation um, from Goldfarb, if that's your, your goal, um, or from whatever nursing program you're interested in pursuing. Um, it's going to be up to them to determine which prerequisites you've already met, um, and they'll tell you what you still need to take. Um, once you have that information, you can talk with an advisor and, and we can help you plan um, your curriculum with us. So then the next thing you should do is please apply to the pre-nursing program that I've just described. And the link is there on your screen and we can also send follow-up information. Um, so if you haven't already applied for this, it's a very brief application. We don't need transcripts. It's very short and it will help us stay in good communication with you. And then the next thing is once you have gone through that process and you've been assigned to an advisor, um, we definitely want to talk with you. Um, there are four advisors in University College, um, Lily, myself, Rebecca, and Elisa, and we all are familiar with the pre-nursing curriculum. Um, and so we've, we've had a good time getting to know those of you who've reached out already, and uh, we really look forward to working with all of you. And now I will hand things over to our colleagues at Goldfarb. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, my name is Dr. Judy Smith and I'm the Assistant Dean of the Undergraduate Programs at Goldfarb School of Nursing. And I wanted to introduce Dr. Gilbert and I believe Misty was going to start, is that correct? I am happy to start. Um, thank you guys, everyone, for, for joining us tonight. This is a really exciting opportunity um, for everyone. So we're, we're really excited about all this. Um, I know I've probably spoken with a lot of you and I'm going through and still contacting a lot of you. Um, so I apologize if I'm delayed at all. You're welcome to follow up with and is in this um, uh, flyer here. Um, you can contact me. This is my work cell phone. You can call or text me. And also here is my um, email address that you can send to me, send me information. So briefly what I am looking for, I'm an admissions advisor, um, of course at Goldfarb. And what I'm gonna be looking for are these admissions prerequisites. So as you can see, the requirements are that you have an overall cumulative GPA of 3.0. And then we're gonna look also for a 3.0 on your core. And you'll see some more information and I can go through all that with you guys individually as well. And then there's a list of the 17 courses. So the prerequisites are these 17 courses and these 17 courses are completed prior to your start date with Goldfarb. That doesn't mean that you can't start working with me, even if you've completed one or none, um, that is the goal so that I can let you know if there are a couple of courses that you've already completed or quite a few of these on this list, that is something then you can take back to your U College advisor and show them and see kind of your timeline as to completion of these prerequisites. Once we have all that, um, that's when we would know kind of to build your plan um, for your future start date. And I'll let Dr. Smith and them go through the program itself. Um, 
I'm trying to think what else I would like to share. So if you have unofficial copies or official copies of any college transcripts, you are welcome to email those to me. And what I'd like to do then is schedule like a 20 or 30 minute phone meeting with you. And we'll go through your transcripts together. If you don't have any transcripts, that's okay too. Um, we can discuss that. Um, and unofficial copies can be copy and pasted into a Word or a PDF document. Or if you send any official transcripts, you can actually have them sent electronically to my email. Um, they're just helpful for me to have for our advisement meetings. Um, and I will look forward to your questions at the end. And I'm going to pass it on to Dr. Smith now. Thank you, Misty. I just want to share the excitement, enthusiasm, and welcome everybody. I can't see all your faces, but I hear we have a lot of interest. So um, as I said, I'm the assistant dean of the undergraduate program. And in a minute, I'll introduce Dr. Gilbert as well. Um, but kind of an overview of, of this program, it is a week, weekend evening option. And we're, I'm, we're pretty proud at Goldfarb because we, we do have a rigorous program. Um, and it's a very, we have, we produce great, you know, wonderful graduates. Our, our mission statement is that we prepare exceptional nurse leaders in an academic learner centered environment. And I just want to emphasize that because we do, um, we really are student centered. And so we want everybody to learn and we've got, nursing is a great career. So um, the, the curriculum, we're gonna talk in kind of in general and then I can have Dr. Gilbert add uh, what he wants, but basically this is, you know, like a weekend evening option. And, um, and Dr. Gilbert has been key in helping to design this program. But for right now, we're gonna say that, you know, it's the, it's, you know, weekend and evenings option. So, because we recognize that you all are working, well, you know, working through the week, you've got other uh, obligations, et cetera. So once the student is accepted into our program, the credit, we have 66 credit hours. The student will be taking pathophysiology, pharmacology, health assessment, and health assessment is, um, one of the courses that you will have labs to practice your review of systems. Foundations, which is another key uh, course where you're going to learn about the professionalism of nursing. We talk about ethical and legal issues as well. And then we have, we talk about other courses. I'm, I'm not gonna list all of these, but um, we have, we really do have a great curriculum. We get, you're gonna learn about gerontology. You're gonna learn about um, adult health, you're gonna learn about pediatrics, you're gonna learn about obstetrics, or we call it maternal health, psych mental health, um, and then the also the skills lab. I'll probably have Dr. I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Gilbert now because he has taught the intro skills lab and he can probably give you a little better description of details. Dr. Gilbert, if you wanna take it sure. from here. I'm glad to speak to you all this evening. Um, I am very sympathetic to the needs of uh, working adults having um, attained my bachelor's degree in nursing while I was working full time. I'm originally a diploma school graduate and I'm kind of a dinosaur. There's not many of us still around, but it, 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 it can be very challenging being a working adult. And I know a lot of you have family responsibilities. So we have been very aware of the needs of the working adult developing this program. So like Dr. Smith said, we're looking at it to being an evening weekend uh, program. Um, it will be rigorous. We're looking probably at about a two and a half year commitment from you, um, approximately seven or eight terms, give or take. Um, the prerequisites that they've been talking about are essential to your success in our program because everything builds from those prerequisites. Uh, your anatomy and uh, physiology will be very beneficial for the pathophysiology, which is a study of disease processes and things of that nature. Um, doing well in your sciences and also your math is going to be very um, beneficial as you start your um, process of going through this. 
Uh, we use a lot of medication math in our intro course. Intro, um, I taught for several terms at Goldfarb. And essentially, we're just introducing you to what nursing is about. When we talk about death and dying, we talk about ethical issues. Um, a little bit under the everything under the sun, we teach you how to start IVs, draw blood. Um, in our state of the art simulation lab, we have several labs um, spread out over two floors at our college. Um, we have mannequins that can actually talk to you. They can um, produce heart, you can hear their heartbeat, you can take blood pressures on them. Um, it's really amazing. The students, when they see what all our uh, simulation um, patients can do, um, they're very um, amazed by it, let's just say that. Um, so it, it's, it's a really fun time, I think. It's also challenging, but I do think the students do enjoy what they do. Um, in that course, it's it's a very uh, beneficial course because everything builds upon that. Um, after an intro, they progress to adult health one, and you know you'll have some clinical experiences in intro, but a lot of it is in the lab. And then as you develop, you know more and more skills, we expect more and more out of you in the clinical setting. You start passing medications and things of that nature. And our clinical experiences are very, we've had really good experiences. Um, I had a, several groups over at Barnes. Um, I've had students at West County, Barnes West County, Barnes St. Peter's, um, and we've had nothing but positive experiences. We are always looking for really good clinical partners. Um, the best thing about our program too, I think is in your very last term, you'll do a, a course called Synthesis where you are paired with a preceptor and you essentially are in the role of a nurse right before you graduate. And I think that's very beneficial to all our graduates. Um, a lot of our students um, just recently went through that. It's because we have graduation coming up actually this week. So we'd be glad to have you come and be with us. Um, our faculty are very, willing to go that extra mile to work with all our students. Um, as I tell my students all the time, I'm here for you. I'm here to help you be successful and to mentor you. That's my philosophy with all of our students that I encounter. So I'll just turn it back, I guess, to Dr. Smith. Or Misty. I actually have a couple things to add. Um, the application for Goldfarb for this program is not out yet. It, as soon as it is available, I will send that out to everyone. Um, so I, I'll get that out to you as well. And I'm also going to have a link sent out. If you have an appointment with, you can use the link um, similar to the U College link to put on my calendar as well. So um, I'll answer questions, I guess, at the end. And I guess we'll pass it back to Dr. Smith. Did you have anything else to add? Sorry, I think I got, might have gotten kicked out. But I just wanted to say I was glad that Dr. Gilbert brought up the simulation labs because we really do have state-of-the-art simulation labs. And you all can go to our website and look. There's virtual tours. But it's pretty phenomenal. And I just wanted to add that after our students do go through the intercourse, where they actually get to do those hands-on skills, they really get excited because they really feel like they're they're a nurse. So it's a, it's great and we're excited. So welcome again. Thank you. Thank you um, so much uh, to our Goldfarb team and the U College team and HR. Um, I think um, Goldfarb folks, are you ready to take questions? All right, so um, please again, um, type your questions into the Q&A at the bottom of your screen um, and we will get through as many as we can. So starting, this is a question for human resources. Um, what if you are not a certified MA, is a person with an ABR slash OE eligible? So I'll 
you want to see that one or do you want No, to? go right ahead. <laughs> so I did notice in the chat, there's a couple of questions about specific, um, specifically to your situation. And so I think what we'd like to do with those, um, like if you have a specific certification or if you don't have one, maybe just send us an email directly to the um, email address that Pat put in the chat and then we can just look exactly, you know, address your situation specifically. Cause I'm not, I'm not sure I totally know what a, that certification. Okay, is. great. Thank you. All right. Um, okay. So here's a question about the application. So yes, there will be a separate application for the BSN program, but it's not live yet. Um, let's see. I did put the pre-nursing link, the U College pre-nursing link in the chat, so you can follow there and there'll be a, a button on the right to apply. Um, here's a question, if we've already applied to the BSN program, when do we know if we've been accepted? Um, have you applied for the full-time day program or are you wanting to apply for the part-time evening and weekend option? Do we know that? Um, yeah, we don't. So if you've already applied, you've applied to something other than the evening program that this benefit is covering. So you may want to um, either reconnect with Misty or wait to hear more about um, the evening program when it goes online. Is that fair response? Yes. Yeah, so if you did apply for the upper division program, for fall 21 or any future start date. Um, that current application is for the full-time day program. Uh, I have been keeping a list. I do know a couple students that had applied for that that are actually wanting the part-time evening. So I will be sending out that application as soon as it is available. So if you did apply for the full-time day, but you are wanting the part-time evening and weekend, please, uh, call, text, or email me and let me know, and we'll get all of that taken care of for you. And I see there's a question um, also from someone who's um, wondering whether they're classified correctly in HR. And I would again encourage you just to reach out through that email address and, and they can help you figure that out. Um, one person asked how long, uh, how long does approval for the nursing program take. So you can um, you can apply to the pre-nursing program. I know we have one person in the office out, so it may take a little longer than usual to um, process your application, but you can go ahead, I think, and make an appointment with one of our advisors. If it's um, taken a little bit longer, it's fine to go ahead and get that process started. Uh, but but normally that does not take long. Um, we've got someone asking about certification status again. Um, let's let's have you email HR directly. Um, will the new program in the fall be only on the Duncan campus? Is that referring to the BSN or? So I'll start answering that and then I, I'll, well, actually I'll let Dr. Smith um, answer that one. Um, yeah, that's a great question. Um, yes, yeah, so our Duncan is our primary campus with the um, larger simulation labs. So that's, that's, that's the main campus, yes. And currently lectures are being offered virtually, they are scheduled. Um, so at this time, students come on campus in small groups for simulation, and then they're also in small groups for their clinical experiences. Okay. Um, so someone is asking about the anticipated um, start date. Uh, for University College, you can start um, at any time. Um, Goldfarb, do you want to talk about the anticipated start date for the BSN? So our fall 21 start date is September 7th. Okay. Um, here's a question for HR. 
Is there a commitment to stay with WashU after completing the nursing program? Yeah, that's a good question. So there, the policy states that we expect you to stay a year after uh, getting, you know, finishing the program. Now that's not, um, you know, we're not going to require you. We're not going to chase you down. So we, you know, we just would hope that you would make a year commitment after, you know, after going through the program. Um, and that's, you know, that's basically the only requirement. And Angela, could you address, um, can they be in a different position at WashU or do they have to stay in their current position? Oh, they do not have to stay in their current position. Yeah, if you, in fact, you know, hopefully you, a nursing job would open up, right? And you could go and, and take that, take that position. That would be the best case scenario. Thank you. Um, we've got a question, how often will the program begin? So of course the university college, you can jump in at any time. Um, Goldfarb, how often will the BSN program uh, begin for a new cohort? At this time, it is fall. And then as we add, or if we do add additional start dates, we will share that information as well. Yeah, and one thing to note too, there's, um, as far as the H, you know, the WashU provided benefit, we can take 10 people at any given time. So there could be 10 that, that jump in in the fall and then one of them would need to graduate to let another person in, you know, so that you can kind of see, you know, you, you would need to be working on your prerequisites and then, a, a, you know, a, a, a spot would open up. So that, that is a current budget limitation. Um, so we have a question. Um, someone saw on the HR website that you have to have eight nursing students to begin the program. Um, do you anticipate having that number for the fall? Uh, so I'll answer that. So right now we are, um, I think Kim, you said we had six applications already, six or seven. So I, I don't anticipate eight being a problem. I almost think it would be the other way where we have more interest than that. So I, I, don't, I don't think we'll have any problem filling that requirement. Okay, so someone wants to know what is their next step after having applied to the pre-nursing program and, spoke, and having spoken with their advisor and Misty, you are in great shape. Um, it's time for you to start taking courses. So you could um, touch base again um, with your advisor, but you can register. Um, I'll put the link in, but it's at UC Online. You can register for your courses. Um, your advisor can also um, connect you to that link. I also want to mention that once you've applied to the pre-nursing program and been admitted, um, you do have to confirm. So we won't put you into that um, pre-nursing cohort until you log into the portal and say, great, yes, I'm in. Um, so don't forget that step. Uh, let's see. So again, some of the, I, there are a number of questions about specific situations in your position and your role. So again, just direct those to HR and they can help you. Um, so how do you, you know, if you're limited to 10 people, um, the question is, how do you select which 10? Yeah, so it's really just first come first serve. As soon as you've got every, you're in, you've admit, been admitted to Goldfarb, you've applied um, and your prerequisites, you're ready to go. That's, that's the order that we'll go in. Okay, if you've recently switched jobs within the university, but you've been in the university you know, for a number of years, are you still qualified for the benefit? So we probably wanna look at your situation and see what, what your job title is um, and, and kind of take it from there. So. Why don't, we, why don't we take that one personally with you? Okay, and um, just confirming, if somebody has already been accepted to the full-time program at Goldfarb but wants to switch to this new evening program, what should they do? Contact me. Um, I know I've already gotten a couple texts. Um, so let me know and we can uh, discuss that 
as an option of switching you to the evening weekend. Again, that application for that particular program is not available today. I will hopefully have that for you guys very, very soon. And we will, I will share that um, with everyone. Uh, so if you are planning to possibly start this fall, remember that you do have to have those 17 course prereqs completed before your start date, as well as um, having the, the GPA requirements. And that's what I would review. And I will at some point ask you to send official transcripts from each college you've attended, even if you took one class, one time at a community college or something. And I did wanna add um, two things. One is that if you had per se one class left, um, but you college isn't offering it before September 7th, we can discuss options to take that outside of you college but it would be your payment responsibility. So I do know some inexpensive options that I can share with you if that is a case for you. Um, and then also, like I said, I'll share that link with you guys to, to be able to schedule appointments with me too for like a 20, 30 minute phone advisement meeting, so. Uh, so either uh, maybe Angela, if, um, if you have a change in your employment status, and this may be one they want to do an individual question, um, suppose you're full-time now and you qualify, but you move to part-time. Could you still do the program as a part-time employee? Yeah, Kim, Kim, do you want to weigh in on that? Uh, yeah, I'll take that one. Um, so all of our tuition benefits require that you're a full-time employee. So in order to qualify for the benefit, you do have to be full-time and you have to stay full-time to retain that benefit. So yeah, if you do move to part-time, then that would make you ineligible probably the next semester after you go part-time if, if it's mid-semester. So yeah, so think carefully about that because that's not always an easy thing to um, to juggle that full time workload, family, and and doing the the part time program. Um, how far in advance should students apply for the Gold Bar program? So um, again, that application has not been uh, released yet for this program. So as soon as it is, I will explain to everyone how and when to apply. We suggest applying as long as you've got some college credit and we are happy to start getting you reviewed. And then I did also wanna add that the tuition assistance plan through University College obviously is, is a wonderful opportunity. This gold farb is not going to limit the number of students in our program. If you find out that you are not eligible for tuition assistance, you can, They'll apply for the program and then you would work with our financial aid department to discuss any type of uh, loans, grants, scholarships, all those kind of great opportunities if the payment responsibilities would be on you. But I just wanted to be clear that if you're not eligible for tuition assistance, you can still be eligible for the Gold Farb program. Thank you. Um, for fall classes, when should we start choosing classes? I assume this is for um, University College. Fall registration opens on Monday, um, so you could start then. However, I would um, just encourage you to talk to an academic advisor. There are a lot of courses to choose from, and they can really steer you toward the courses that are best for you now. So what are you best qualified to take? What sort of sequencing makes sense based on your um, past experience. Um, there's a very specific question here about um, repeating courses and whether they count for gold farb. I, I think talking to an academic advisor um, would be the best there. Um, again, very specific HR questions um, should be directed to HR. Um, lab fees for University College. Um, you, when you look at our online courses, if there's a lab fee, it's listed um, with the course. We don't 
list the cost of books, but you could speak with an academic advisor to help um, ballpark what that would be. Um, you can also email the instructor to find out what books they'll be using. And that's you know a way that you can find out. Not all courses have books, so you'll have many courses that use um, free resources. Let's see. Pat, this is Misty. Um, I just wanted to add a couple things. Um, so when we talk about the prerequisites, there are certain timeframes on a couple classes um, and so is the GPA. So if by chance you don't have the 3.0 GPA today, those are things I can work with you and discuss where we're at with all of that. So don't be discouraged if your GPA is not exactly that yet. That's our job as an advisor to help you help you with all that. Um, when do the prerequisite classes start? Um, you could start those as soon as the summer. Again, just work with an academic advisor to choose the ones that make sense for you. Um, would you be assigned an advisor once you call or apply for the program? Um, for University College, yes, once you um, apply for the program and confirmed, you will be assigned an academic advisor. Um, Misty, do you wanna talk about that question for, um, for Barnes? So currently, as far as admissions, I'm, I'm working with everyone. And then once they are a student at Goldfarb taking our nursing courses, they will be assigned an academic advisor. Um, Misty, can people send you their transcripts now to get advice? Absolutely. Um, I will warn everybody, I'm taking a much needed PTO day tomorrow. Uh, so if, if I'm not replying to you tomorrow, um, I will be checking all that on Monday. But um, yes, absolutely. If you have unofficial copies, you can copy and paste them into like a Word document or a PDF and send them via email as an attachment. If you want to send official transcripts electronically, you can also use my email address for that. Great, thank you. Um, should we wait to take prereqs until accepted into the pre-nursing program? Um, no, you can talk to an advisor now and, and sign up for classes. The pre-nursing program is really a way for us to know that you're out there, that you're interested, and that we're communicating to you whenever there's um, pre-nursing information. Um, so I, I think the most important thing is just making sure you're speaking to an advisor so that you're picking out the right courses. Um, how do clinicals work with Goldfarb as a full-time employee? Sorry, I was on mute. Could the, I, I think Person I might need for a Judy, can you help? Yes, I was going to say, I was going to ask maybe for, okay. a, I don't know if it's possible to get more information because we, we a lot of our students are full-time employees. Um, so, um, you know, what they, they, they schedule, their work schedule, obviously we want them to take their classes. They have to take their classes in clinical. So, um, I guess I would need more information that, you know, we, we do want it to be flexible for you, but we also don't want you to be, um, it, it is a rigorous program. And I don't know if that's answering the question. I think the question is, um, since this is evening weekend, part-time, would the clinicals be in the middle of the day, for example, would any of the clinical work be done in their current roles? I can let Dr. Gilbert ask answer that because he was sort of designing the the schedule. I, I I think we've been envisioning the clinicals would either be on weekends or um, evenings. Most likely, they'll probably right. on weekends just Weekend to block, block some yes. early for everyone. Mm -hmm. Correct. Thank you. Okay, um, here's a question. If we turned in our tuition request form and our acceptance, um, we will be getting an email or notification that our tuition will be covered. 
So again, um, the goal part of application hasn't opened up yet. So I, uh, maybe someone else should take that, but it, it seems like you would need to wait to get your acceptance from, to apply to that program and get your acceptance. Yeah, Is that correct. People have filled out the paperwork for um, like the form for the tuition benefit. But um, like we mentioned, you would also need to be accepted. So we're, we're just kind of hanging on to those until we have the, that second piece. Okay, um, so. You know, six or seven people that have filled out the form but have not officially been approved. Okay, so Angela, they could also just, if they haven't filled out that form yet, they could take that step now and then apply to Goldfarb when that application's ready? Yes, yeah. Okay. Um, so if you have HR questions, we ask that you direct them to the HR general email that I, I put in the chat. And um, I know both um, Angela and Kim will be watching that and, and they have other folks who will answer those questions. Um, someone asks if, like, say you don't get in one fall, would you be allowed to apply for the next fall? Would that be for the for the gold bar program? Is that? I guess we could answer it for both, both for the nursing program, but also for the benefit. I think. Gotcha. Yeah, so the benefit we would have kind of a, what I'm envisioning, and Kim, you can tell me if you agree, but I'm envisioning like a waiting list if there, are, if we have more applicants and, and we'll date stamp those based on when they came in. So if you're not able to get in, let's say we have, you know, 20 people that are interested for the fall, we can only take 10, we'll just keep them queued up. And then when there's a, an opening, we'll, we'll, be, we'll know when they came in. Kim, do you want to add a yeah. yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm, I'm dating when the application comes in, I'm numbering them in order. And then as, as employees are getting their acceptance from Goldfarb and they let us know, then we'll, you know, add that to the information on the form and we'll just keep track of it that way. And so when we had the RNWSN previously, if we had a waiting list, that's exactly what we did. We would just keep everybody in order. And then as a spot came open, we would let the next person know, hey, we do have a spot open, and then we would go forward from there. And then Angela, could you explain the, the 10 spots at a time again, um, whether it's per year or 10 spots at any given time? Yeah, so we have the budget to pay for 10 people at any given moment. Um, so if, if you, you know, if all 10 people start in the fall and it, it takes them two years and nobody drops out, then it would be two years until another person would be able to get in. So it truly is at a time at this, at this moment. Yeah. Okay. Um, when do the fall classes start for WashU? <laughs> Elizabeth, I know it's at the end of August, but could you answer that one? Yeah, it's August 30th this fall. Thank you. All right. I think we've answered most of the questions that aren't specific to an individual. Um, do the other panelists see questions or have follow-up um, that they want to add, given what's been asked so far? Uh, yeah, let's I just want to make a quick distinction on the covered costs. So, um, Pat addressed the costs of the, you know, the, the fees for the, the lab fees and books are different for each class. So those are not going to be covered by the tuition benefits. So you would cover the costs of, of that. And then at Goldfarb, the difference is that we are paying for books and lab fees for, for that. So there's a little bit of a distinction in what is covered under the benefits. So just wanted to call that out. So Angela, there's some concern that the the wait list for the benefit could be very long. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And we really did not, in fact, we were concerned at first that we wouldn't even have 10 people that were ready to go to nursing school. So we've been shocked by the, um, by the response in, in a very good way. So I, I think 
what we envision is people would be starting their prerequisites at university college and that would take you know three four or five years to get through all of those and then as people got finished then they would start their um, benefit you know their uh, from a gold farm so i think what we've been kind of surprised about is how many people already had all of their prerequisites completed and were ready to go so i think um i saw a, a note in the q a that yeah i mean it could be like a, it could be a couple of years until another spot opens up depending on the interest so um we're very aware of that we we really want to expand it to more people we just haven't haven't been able to do that yet. So we're, we're going to keep working on that for you and uh, and hopefully we'll be able to offer it to a broader group of people. Yeah, um, someone also asked about using FAFSA and yes, you you could ap apply for financial aid at Goldfarb. Um, you know, so you'd still have the university college um, credits. I also want to mention um, if for some reason you decide you're not going to go on to nursing. You can finish a degree at university college. So those prerequisites plus two more courses would earn you an associate's degree. There are certain things you have to make sure you take. Um, but you can also go on and earn a bachelor's degree from university college. So what I want to emphasize is that no matter what path you take, whether you get the benefit, whether you use financial aid for Goldfarb or another nursing program, another option is, uh, is completing a degree with University College. So I think we, we want to make sure that we can help everyone in whatever way possible. I know the University College advisors are here to work with you and um, talk to you about some of those options too. Yeah, and, and to um, just kind of going back to the previous question, um, if you, even if you can't go right now, and like if, if we already have our 10 spots, I would encourage you to go ahead and fill out the application because that's going to be a great, um, a great tool for us to know that, you know, actually we have 50 people, you know, and that would be, a, that would be really helpful for us as we go to seek to expand the program. So please go ahead and, and, um, take that step, even if you can, you know, even if it's not possible to get in right now. So even if you have to be on the waiting list, please do get your name on the waiting list. And I do want to qualify that the, the nursing program accepts more than 10 people, but the tuition benefit is only for 10 people at a time. That's right. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'll start with Elizabeth. Is there anything else while we see if there are more questions that you would like to add from the U College perspective? Um, you know, I don't think so. We're just happy to be talking to people and working with you guys. And um, we are developing some things specifically for pre-nursing students. Um, Mostly Pat is looking at our curriculum and trying to make some adjustments and gear some things specifically for you guys. So um, there should be some good, you know, new course offerings coming. Okay, a couple more questions. Uh, someone's having a little trouble with the advising um, bot. You can also just um, go to the pre-nursing program page and um, click meet with an advisor and, uh, and you can schedule an appointment that way. Um, so, um, Misty, do you have to complete all of your prereqs before being accepted to the nursing program? So you don't have to have them all completed prior to being admitted. We will have to have them all completed before your start date. So that's where it's real important to work really closely with myself and with the U College advisors. Um, and I, I am going to put some information together and I will ask that that be sent out um, with a link to schedule appointments with me on, on your own. Um, and if there's not a time space available, you can always call or text me or email me. And I will also be sharing the application for the evening weekend program as soon as that is available to everyone. And I just wanted to let you all know again, if you for some reason are not eligible for your tuition assistance through your college, we will still be admitting students um, outside of just that that group of 10. So keep that in mind as well if, if that's an opportunity that you would like to look into. 
and we have a fabulous financial aid department, lots of scholarships and grants and loans and things that they can go through with you. So just wanted to let you know, and we are happy to help you with all of that. Okay, someone asked, we will be following up um, with people who have um, signed up for this webinar and, and we will send follow-up information about who to contact with what, we'll send links to um, the nursing website and um, the pre-nursing place to apply. All right, uh, let's see. Um, Goldfarb folks, any last uh, comments? I just want to say thank you to everyone from Washington University, U, U College, all of the amazing students I've been working with. Everybody has just been great. This is something we're so excited about. Great opportunity. Lots and lots of jobs in nursing. So it's a great thing all around. And I tell everyone, the goal for Goldfarb is that we bring in amazing students. We take you through our great program. You graduate, you take your NCLEX, and you come become a fabulous alumni somewhere in this world as a registered nurse. And we love hearing all of your stories even after graduation. So thank you everybody so much for everything we've been doing. And Angela, do you wanna, um, or, or Kim, is there anything else you wanna add from HR? Oh, I do. I Oh, go ahead, Kim. Sorry. I, we I did note want to, <laughs> <laughs> we do, um, oh, what did I want to say? Um, Sorry. <laughs> I, I know that we have emails coming in, you know, regarding some of these, um, let me turn my video on. So we have emails coming in to the HR benefits mailbox and give us a day or two to go through them and respond. So if you don't get a response tomorrow, You'll definitely get a response from us early next week. I just anticipate a lot of questions. So um, Angela and I will go through those and pull in anybody we need to, to get the answers for you. And then I'll get back with you as soon as we can. Thank you. Angela? No, nope, nothing else for me. I'm excited that, um, that we were able to get this put together for you all. So I'm, I'm so happy that you're all so interested. It's very great. All right, terrific. Thank you for everyone who attended tonight. We're all really excited about the program. I know there are a lot of specific questions and things you need clarification on. And I just, I hope you'll reach out. We will be again, sending a, a follow-up email. Um, so you have the information you need to reach out if you don't already have it. Um, and this um, session is being recorded. So we will make that available as well. Right. So uh, thank you, everyone, and um, enjoy the rest of your evening.